Let's get right to it. If you want to work in the data space, you're going to need to learn to speak data. Let's cover some common terms and vernacular in the data space. SQL is pronounced SQL, not SQL. We don't say S-C-U-B-A, we say SCUBA. I work with SQL Server, not SQL Server. All databases are nothing more than containers for objects. That's all they are. That's the very definition of a database. In an interview, that's the answer you give to what is a database. The most important object in any database is the table. Without the table, all the other objects are useless. There are two broad types of databases. One is transactional. You'll often hear it referred to as OLTP, or Online Transaction Processing. The second is a data warehouse. These databases are used for analytics. Both types of databases use a table as the core object. A table in our context holds structured data. It's called structured data because we, the creators of the tables inside the database object, decide what the columns are going to hold. There's another type of data called unstructured data. An example of unstructured data is an HTML file. It does have structure, but not the type of structure that is tabular. When you hear the word structured data, think tabular data, like data in our tables or an Excel spreadsheet. We give the table object that structure. We give table structure by using data types. A data type defines what's going to be held in each column. For example, if I want to hold numeric data, I might use an int or integer data type. If I want to hold an email address, I might use a varchar or variable length character data type. Stay with me. A database is a collection of objects. The most important is the table. The type of data we house in these databases is called structured data. We give our table structure by using data types. Let's go a step further. You use a language called SQL, not SQL, to manipulate the data in your table. You also use a language called SQL to create objects. These are the two branches of SQL. One is called data manipulation language, and the other is called data definition language. When you work with the data, you use data manipulation language. When you create or alter objects, you're going to use data definition language. OK, back to our table object, which was created using data definition language. When we create a table, it's empty. We need to insert data into our table. The word insert means put data in that table. After we insert data into our table, we need to read that data. When you want to read that data, you're going to use a SELECT statement. When you want to change the data in that table, you're going to use an UPDATE statement. When you want to remove the data, you're going to use a DELETE statement. The good news here is that there are only four core data manipulation statements you're going to need to use. They are SELECT, INSERT, UPDATE, and DELETE. The bad news here is that there are a ton of data definition statements, the most famous being the CREATE DATABASE statement and the CREATE TABLE statement. This video was short, but it was densely packed. You're going to need to know the correct terminology if you want to be taken seriously in the data world. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great day.